In this video, we are going to take a look at the Honda E and I'm going to tell you why this is important in just a minute. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Unbluster, and today we are taking a look at the Honda E on the VZ chassis. There you go. And uh, as of this uh, publishing, I'm the only one that has a Honda E, and uh, this is actually from Tamiya USA. Thank you again for allowing us to preview this kit um, ahead of everybody. So let's go ahead and take a look, and um, um, there should be a pretty clear. Uh, indicator as to why it's this kit is actually quite important and uh, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of hints all right this one is a Toyota GR Supra all right yes that's a Supra this one is a Toyota Gazoo racing WRT Yaris WRC all right Toyota and this is the Toyota Gazoo Racing TSO 50 Hybrid 2019 Toyota Alright, so let's set those aside and uh, you guys already get the hint Yes That means Tamiya now has the Honda license again So what does that mean for us? That means that, oh, we might have some future releases that are going to be coming our way I don't know about you, but I would be excited to see a Honda NSX that would be a nice kit to do, right? That would be cool. And I don't know. I mean, since they have Toyota and Honda now, maybe they might get Nissan again. I don't know about you guys. I would like to see a GTR again in mini four-wheel drive form. So it's been a long time since that has happened. So let's go ahead and take a look at this kit. And uh, let's go for the item number 18095, 1100 yen. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. All right, so, and this kit was um, essentially built on the VZ chassis. Of course, it's the newest uh, chassis, so they're going to be uh, working with the VZ. So they're going to be using that, and it's pretty cool. The VZ chassis has always been uh, pretty good, basically, essentially, since the beginning, since when they uh, released it. It's always been a good chassis to build from, so... Let's set that aside, just the black ABS chassis. Nothing out of the ordinary from that one. Okay. And then, since it's a new kit, essentially most of the time, it comes with just a regular slick tire. So that's what this thing has. And then let's look at the wheels first. These look a little bit different, but yeah. So they're the plain plastic ones with the, the dish type wheels right here pretty good all right so if you guys don't know honda e is essentially uh, like a passenger or like a compact version of uh, an electric car that honda's gonna be putting out at some point soon um these aren't even on the road yet as far as i know and um over here in the channel we're pretty lucky that we got the chance to preview this kit before anybody else so we're going to go ahead and thank Tamiya USA for that as well as um, DXN Provisions for providing us the hookup to get this kit so that everybody can take a look at it before um, everyone else, before it's released. So here you go. Pretty interesting body and I've seen the interior on some of the photos that people have said it looks pretty sweet inside. So pretty cool color. Uh, what is this? Um, pretty much like a yellow or like a lime yellow. All right. Wow. So notifications coming in all right so here just the hardware regular basically the there's the pom uh bushings and then of course for the gears as well let's set that aside and then let's see the uh, oh it comes with mabuchi motor so this has got to be made in japan then yeah 
it's also made in Japan. Here, let's take a quick look right there. Let's see, made in Japan 2020. So yeah, generally if it's made in Japan, it um, it comes with a Mabuchi motor. Um, 3.5 to 1 gear ratio, pink crown gears, um, just all the hardware that regularly comes with the uh, VZ chassis. And then it comes with this... Um, also black um, A parts right here as well. Nothing too out of the ordinary out of this kit. And then over here, stickers for numbering. Um, pretty good. Nothing too crazy about that. I think I saw that with another kit recently. And then the uh, Honda E right here. Pretty cool. There's a lot of pretty foily stickers, pretty shiny stuff. And uh, all right, let's go ahead and set that aside. And let's see if this kit also has the new and improved. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it looks like it does have the new and improved uh, manual. Yep, it does. So that's pretty good. So, numberings, the numbering is a lot clearer and it's easier. And they even get, provide you tech tips like you can use a box as an organizer so that it's uh, a lot easier for you to keep track of everything. And, how to apply the grease so that it's sparing and not over greasing essentially so all right, let's set that aside okay so I we're gonna go ahead and rate this kit in terms of value collectability and upgradability so for value um, it already has a price it already has 1100 yen so that's about how much you're going to be targeting. Um, if you're in Japan or if you're in Asia, usually you're going to be able to get this as a much, at a much cheaper price than the 1100 yen that they usually come with. So that's always very fortunate for you guys. Um, but for us over here in the States, it's going to be a little bit higher than that. But we're going to take that into account at least. So for value, I'm going to give this a 7. Um, really nothing else is extra about this kit. Um, Pretty much everything's fairly basic. Um, there's no upgrades, honestly, so really not much you can do about that one. So for collectability, I'm going to give it, let's see, how many years has it been? Let's see. The Raybrig NSX was released in 2002, and it looks like the Beams Integra, um, let me see what year is it, was also released in 2002. So... It has been 18 years since we really had the, a Honda. Well, I'm not sure if it's technically a Honda license because neither of those kits actually talk about Honda. They're more, they probably got licensed from those um, tuning companies like Beams and also Raybrig. I'm not sure. I, honestly, I'm not sure about that. But it, at least we, we all know that those cars were all Hondas, essentially. It was an NSX and, of course, the other one was, of course, one was an Integra. So that's still pretty good. So I'm going to rate the collectability at a 12. Uh, it's been quite long. I'm not going to give it 18. That just seems ridiculous just because it's been it's really been that long. But 18 is just a little too much just because of the amount of years. So actually, let's rearrange this. So yes, a collectability of a 12. For upgradability, um, since we're starting with a, a VZ chassis, it's going to be a little bit better than normal. Um, but essentially what I'm looking for for higher scores is, of course, like better tires and then maybe a different chassis. And of course, maybe better wheels, stuff like that, um, essentially. So I'm going to have to give this kit an 8. So all in all, if you add those up, it's going to be around an average score of 9. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And, of course, thank you so much to Tamiya USA and to DXN Provisions for helping us out push this preview uh, of this kit. And, uh, yeah, if it weren't for them, we wouldn't be able to push this uh, uh, overview out to you guys. So thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Go race.